Now, some of you have, have uh, told me that you're, the, the sketching is kind of intimidating and, and especially adding some color to it. So I want to, we've, we've done a kayak up here for your paddle journal. I want to do a, a canoe here. So again, similar shape, just kind of elongated. Somebody doesn't like it, they can, they can do their own. And one of the things with a, with a canoe that makes it a bit more distinct is the gunnel that's here. So just add a little gunnel on this side. You see this one side is a bit warped, but there we go, doesn't matter. You've got the little brace at the bow and the stern. You've got your seats in here. And as I say, by the time this is done, Everybody on the, it's a webbed seat. Everybody on the planet is gonna know that this is a canoe. In the center, you've got your yoke for when you have to portage. And you've got the bow seat here. So there's your basic shape of the, the canoe. A little wonky on that side, but you know, who cares? You know, one of the things that you don't have in a paddle journal is you don't have paddle journal police wondering and worrying you. So again, padded or web seat up here. And then what you want to do is take some very light watercolor and just add that in. I'll show you on this other piece how you can add some dimension to this again, like we did with that kayak. And, you know, I wouldn't paint up the whole thing. I wouldn't worry about painting, you know, some dark color for the gunnels and another, you know, coloring the webs the webbed seating in, um, personally, I just wouldn't do it. I, I, it's, it, you know, the human mind will fill those spaces in. So just leave it like that. And then if you want to add a little bit of dimension, just take some more of that, that yellowy color and just add it to one side. So in this, uh, in this case, it looks like the sun is coming in from this side because the canoe comes up and this side is shaded and just adds a little bit of dimension to that. Maybe just a little line down here. There you go. And then when you finish, always remember to add some context. So again, um, how did you get to where you were, were gonna be paddling? And, and what did you see when you were there? Um, what were all the conditions like? All of those kinds of things, I'll add those notes in. So give this a try. You know, sketch out your little um, little kayak or your canoe, and then post a little note. Tell me what you think. I'd be, I'd be really interested to hear how it goes for you and see how it goes for you. So be brave, give it a try, and away we go. And your paddle journal is gonna be spectacular. And you'll have one at the end of the season, and nobody else will, and they'll be envious of you. There we go.